The Egyptians weren't the first people in the world to make glass vessels. But when they started making glass 3,500 years ago, not very many other people had figured out how to do it yet. What do you use to make glass? Glass is basically made of three ingredients. 75% of the glass is silica, sand, one of the commonest minerals on Earth. You then need to throw in a much smaller amount of some alkaline substance, and that acts as a flux. And a flux is something that lowers the melting temperature. So it helps the glass maker to get that sand hot enough to produce glass. What's the third ingredient? That needs to be calcium in some form, lime, chalk. And you need that because the mix of sand and the alkali flux is inherently unstable. The glass will self-destruct. So you throw in a small amount of calcium and that stabilizes the glass and it becomes pretty much a permanent substance. Sounds kind of tricky. How do you get a bowl of sand to turn into glass? That's a really good question. What you have to do is to heat the sand hot enough so that it melts. And if you add one or two other ingredients to the sand, what you get at the end of the day after you've melted them together is glass. Is that what this brick oven is for? Well, archaeologists digging in Egypt came upon the remains of some furnaces. And you're looking at a model, full-size model, of one half of one of those furnaces. When it was complete, the furnace was circular, consisted of a brick-lined pit dug into the ground about three feet. But didn't the heat escape through those little windows where the bowls of glass are sitting? When you stoked up the furnace, you blocked the openings behind the shelves, you lit the fire, and thanks to that hole in the center of the roof of the furnace, there was a strong updraft it's a primitive furnace, but it reached a very high temperature and the raw materials were melted. So that once the furnace had cooled down, what you had instead of three crucibles of raw materials, you had three crucibles of glass. Now that's what I call an easy bake oven.